Hi, I'm Brian and you're watching Someplace or Another and today I'm at the Lane Museum in Nashville. Let's go check it out. I've been wanting to go here for a while. It's been on my list a long time and many of you guys have told me to come here so I finally made it. Let's go inside. But first I found an interesting car on the outside. Look at this cute little Fiat. Neat, right? Okay, where to start? It's kind of cool to see what's inside. I'm signed up for all kinds of cool things. We get to go on a vault today and we get to go for a ride. Pretty cool. All right. Let's finish looking around. Hmm. That one's pretty neat. You can see this Volkswagen has the old timey air conditioning. what they call that. Oh, this explains all about it. I'll give you a minute to hit pause if you want to read on it. Oh, minutes up. This place is pretty nice. Look at this little car. It's like a wedge of cheese. <laughs> 77 Herba. Hmm, I got some different looking ones. Nice. We have a lot of uh, import cars here. That's nice. That's also a Lotus. Oh, check this out. I've seen these on the internet. Oh no, I haven't. I think that seat folds up. I think the theory was you can put this in your trunk of your car. Interesting theory. Back of the car, but now you can have two modes of presentation that you can use interchangeably. I think it's just fantastic. Then you would get back to your car, turn it off, pull it back up, let it cool off. There you go. Wow. That's cool. I want that actually propels it. I guess the answer is yes. I wouldn't want to get caught in a light behind this guy. <laughs> Fabric covered cars. That is. That is wild. I wonder why.
This has got like leather. It's like your couch. It's like a driving couch. That's crazy. Look at this little guy. Oh, that's pedal powered. Check out more fabric covered cars. I'm thinking this car is, I could pick it up. If that's the seat. Uh, there's a lot of different cars here. <laughs> well, the ones that I've not seen before. Mm, can't sit in this one. It says so on the sign. Honest. It's right there. See, even though it looks comfy, no sitting. I think that's electric. How do you steer it? With a joystick? It's like a fancy golf cart. Hmm. So by the 30s, fabric covered cars are becoming scarce. Hmm. I didn't know they even had fabric covered cars. That is just wild. It's kind of like an airplane, and a, like an airplane in a sense. I'm not sure. Yeah, they usually make a frame on an airplane and they cover it with fabric. Are most planes are covered with like aluminum. Hmm. This one's pretty good size. I totally want to touch it, but I won't. Look at that little guy over here. It's from 29. Ooh, it's so small in here. It's making a small. Look at this one. It's kind of floor, but you can pedal. Look at this car. It's hard to believe you could use that on a real road. It's so tiny. Is this street legal? Holy moly. Oh, <laughs> shoo, good thing. Tornado. Looks brand new. Well, it does look brand new. Hmm. This is a 2014, I'm assuming, electric car. 
on the Volkswagen. So Fiat. 1953 Fiat C-Van. Hmm, I'd love to get 46 miles per gallon. This one was born in 1966. Hmm. The new ones do look a little like the old ones. Much larger. Nice car. Check out this little guy. I think go anywhere philosophy. This one right here. This is pretty cool. Very cool. I like it. Huh. This is what you need right here. If it runs, you'd be the coolest kid on the block, that's for sure. So I think this is like a motorcycle of some sort. Stainless steel. It's got a really neat collection. <laughs> Some of these cars look familiar. Like, I think I've seen some of the versions, like these two here. I feel like I've seen an RV with that body style. Maybe it was this one. Yeah, you know, I think I might have seen this one. This is a 45 Streamliner. That's this one. Oh, let's see if I can see the engine. Suspension. Power plant. And that one was made in 54. It's a Hoffman. 
Well, got that wrong. That one was made in 51. At least I pronounced the name right. Hoffman. Wow. Very cool. Look at this one. It's all wood. And it's not veneer either. Look, on the inside, you can see the wood. Okay. Let's go back to this car. I think normally it runs on two wheels, and then the other two drop when they're stopped. Wow, it's made in 67. Hmm. That's interesting. Wait. Wait a minute. How is this thing powered? Oh. Rear engine. That is the gyro. Right here. It's a gyro. You keep it upright. Wow. Huh. That means when it stops, it probably don't need to put its feet down. Whoa. That's a complex setup. This might be the fastest toolbox on the planet. I don't see anything. Where's the guy drive at? Oh, over there. There's his engine. Hot Wheels Toolbox. <laughs> Here we go. Powered by a four cylinder. Like, considering most toolboxes don't have engines, it'd still be the fastest one. Oh, you can see they put it on top of the car. It's clever. It might very well be the least aerodynamic car in existence. <laughs> it's literally shaped like a brick. For Terra. This is very cool. <laughs> I would totally take and drive this around. Whoa, you drive in the center. How in the world? That is wild. It's like driving an airplane. That's insane. That's cool too. So many unique ideas. Oh, you can see inside. I'm so easily distracted. So many unusual cars. camping trailer. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, go check out some bicycles. Classy. Look at this, a high wheel bicycle. Hey, wait a minute. This is the kind of bicycle I have. <laughs> well, no, I think it's a little different model. 
Mike doesn't have that seat. I'm sure it's been updated, depending on options. Oh, shit. I was one of one of these when I was a kid. Of course, I never got one, but I was one of one with a shifter. Nice. Look at this guy. In perfect tandem. You don't have to worry about the guy in the back not pedaling. You got a little help. Interesting collection. A little folding bicycle. Get where you're going, put it together. Oh, it's a bike Friday. Oh, you know what? I've ridden one of these. I didn't particularly like it. But it's interesting. Okay, it's time to go on a vault tour. This is a version of the the Fiat 600 was really the kind of the bigger people's car of Italy in the 60s and this was kind of the version that was either a taxi cab because there was two more seats there so you could seat six people or a lot of people used them for small businesses to like flower shops and stuff to carry a little bit of cargo around because you put you could put all the seats down and then it's got the two big side doors you know you could load and unload cargo 
very practical. It was very successful, yeah, they, they made about a half a million of these. Back inside. That was very cool. It's so small, but roomy inside. Let's go check out some motorcycles. Our motor scooters? Yeah. Hmm. I bet that's fun. Our rotary engine. Huh. Here's the one we see. Purchased on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching today's adventure. I will see you guys someplace or another. Just a little emergency. Pay no attention. This is a really neat museum. I'm glad I came. Very cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye. There is more. Looks like they ran out of room. We'll just do a quick walk around. This is one of those cloth cars.